Please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Secretary will please call the word. Angara, Aquino de Fort, Cerillas, Cortona, Del Mar, Florendo Jr., Garbin Jr., Gachalian Sherwin, Gachalian West, Honasan II, Antiveros, Alos Ross, Larson, Lanete, Pangilinan, Pimentel de Fer, O, Recto, Salimbanan, Tolentino, Treñas, Villar, Zamora, Sabiri, the Honorable Senate President and Chair Carlson is present. With uh, 16 members present, the Chair declares the presence of a quorum. Majority Leader. Mr. Chairman, I move to dispense with the reading of the journal of the plenary session held on October 10, 2018, and consider the same as approved. Any objection? The Chair hears none. The reading of the journal of the plenary session held October 10 is dispensed with, and the same is hereby approved. Majority Leader. Mr. Chairman, may I ask that the Secretary of the Commission to read the communications from the House of Representatives Acting Secretary General, Mr. Dante Roberto P. Maling, on the election of our Representative Raul V. Del Mar <coughs> as member of the Commission on Appointments, Vice Representative Josephine Ramirez Sato. Secretary is directed to do so. October 10, 2018, the Honorable Vicente Soto III, President of the Senate and Chairman Commission on Appointments, Financial Center, Pasay City, Metro Manila. <coughs> Mr. President, I have been directed to inform the Commission on Appointments that the House of Representatives on even date elected Honorable Raul V. Del Mar, Vice Honorable Josephine Ramirez Sato, as member of the House of Representatives contingent to the Commission on Appointments. Respectfully yours, signed Mr. Dante Roberto P. Maling, Acting Secretary General. Copy furnished, Honorable Del Mar, Honorable Josephine Ramirez Sato. The election of Representative Raul Del Mar as member of the Commission is hereby noted. Um, just as a end point of information to the body, uh, Representative uh, Raul Del Mar has already taken his oath before me as a member of the Commission appointments earlier this morning. Majority Leader. Mr. Chairman, I move that uh, Representative Raul V. Del Mar be elected as Chairperson of the Committee on Trade and Industry, as Vice Chairperson of the Committee on Foreign Affairs, and as a member of all standing committees except the Committee on Rules and Resolutions. Any objection? Chair hears none. Representative Del Mar is hereby elected to the aforementioned positions. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I move that our Representative Wes Gatsarian <coughs> be elected as Chairperson of the Committees on Accounts and Science and Technology, 
as Vice Chairperson of the Committee on the Interior and Local Government, and as a member of the Committee on Rules and Resolutions. Any objection? There being none, Representative West Cachalian is hereby elected to the positions aforementioned uh, committees. Mr. Chairman, may we now proceed to consider the recommendation of the Committee on Foreign Affairs for the confirmation of the ad interim appointment of Mr. Chodoro Lopez Luxin, Jr., as Secretary, Department of Foreign Affairs. The consideration of the recommendation of the Committee on Foreign Affairs. Um, any objection? There being none, you may proceed. Mr. Chairman, I move that the Chairperson of the Committee on Foreign Affairs, Senator Panfilo M. Lacson, be recognized. Senator Panfilo Lacson is recognized. Mr. Chairman, fellow members of the Commission on Appointments, a few minutes ago, this representation as Chairman of your Committee on Foreign Affairs presided over a public hearing to deliberate on the act interim appointment of the Honorable Teodoro Teddy Boy Luxin Jr. as the Secretary of the Department of Foreign Affairs. Always the maverick, quick-witted, and acerbic, never dull, and never ordinary. Ito yung tao na nangisultot ng lalae na masarap pa rin pakinggan at excited ka pang marinig ang mga susunod na sasabihin. More popularly known as Teddy Boy, the appointee has distinguished himself with the credentials and qualifications befitting someone who should be at the helm of the Department of Foreign Affairs. Irrepressible, articulate, very independent-minded, and extraordinarily prolific in writing. Rightly so, not too long ago, this same body unanimously and decisively confirmed his appointment as the Philippines' permanent representative to the United Nations in such a short stint as ambassador until he was personally chosen by President Rodrigo Roa Duterte to be the country's top diplomat, he effectively made his mark within the highbrow milieu of the international community of nations. Secretary Teddy Boy has gained his equity from, from his career as a journalist for three decades. An incurable bookworm, he was the publisher of the Philippine Free Press and the National Broadsheets Daily Globe and Today. He used to host territorial, the assignment, and points of view on TV. He was also co-anchor of radio programs, executive session, and carambola. A converted lawyer educated in Ateneo de Manila University and Harvard Law School, he served with, it, with dedication the Philippine government in various capacities, from presidential counsel and spokesperson to being speechwriter who penned rousing speeches of at least three presidents of the republic. He was also elected for three terms as representative of the first district of Makati City. He was nominated twice to be an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, which nominations he both declined. As Secretary of Foreign Affairs, we will all agree that he will bring his own brand of diplomacy, one that represents the true value of an independent foreign policy enshrined in our Constitution. I dare say this without mental reservation. If he pulls off and succeeds in the present endeavors which he is currently occupied with, with nary a constitutional challenge, but that would catapult the Philippines into the league of rich, influential, and economically powerful nations, we may now be confirming a future president of the Republic of the Philippines. Mr. Chairman, it is my distinct privilege and honor to move that the Commission give its consent to the confirmation of Teodoro Teddy Boy Luxin Jr. as the Secretary of the Department of Foreign Affairs. I so move, Mr. Chair. I am, tem <clears throat> I am tempted to ban the gavel, but uh, prudence dictates that I listen to the other uh, uh, nomination or uh, speeches. Uh. Mr. Chairman, your committee likewise deliberated on the ad interim appointments of 46 <coughs> or 47 senior officers of the Department of Foreign Affairs comprising of two senior officials who are promoted to the rank of Chief of Mission Class 1 four senior officials promoted to the rank of Chief of Vision Class 2, seven to career ministers, 16 
to the rank of Foreign Service Officer Class 1 and 18 to FSO Class 2. Perhaps, uh, perhaps um, uh, Your Honor, we can uh, take up the, the rest after we listen to the co-sponsorship speeches. I, I submit, Madam for Secretary. For uh, Secretary uh, Chidoro Luxin. Mr. Chairman, <coughs> Vice Chairman of the Commission, <coughs> Congressman Ronnie Zamora, would like to be recognized. The Vice Chairman is recognized, Congressman uh, Ronnie Zamora. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Majority Leader. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Senate President, distinguished colleagues, people remember and people forget. People forget that our nominee is a three-term congressman and a colleague of ours who represented the single richest district in the country, the first district of Makati, and it remains the richest district in the country today with an income that outranks every single province in the country. Instead, people remember that our nominee is a one-man keyboard army, and a great one. In this age where Twitter has been weaponized, you can say more in a tweet than what most of us can barely say in a whole speech. If diplomacy is about saying the nastiest thing in the nicest way, then he has raised it to an art form. Those who will sit across him in negotiations will never know if they have been paid a compliment or have been showered with criticisms. They say that foreign relations is pursued with wine and words. Well, trust me, our nominee can toast, our nominee can boast, and our nominee can roast. And first of all, he will not allow anyone to smear the Philippine Republic or insult his countrymen, especially the OFWs that he loves. And he will tweet in the street, he will tweet in his car, he will tweet in his bed in his office, but he will never surrender the dignity of the nation. This is not to say that the only thing that he has going for him is a smartphone. In fact, he uses a Nokia 3310, <laughs> which is so brand new, but which is so dated, so non-smart a phone, but he knows smart diplomacy like no other. The first requirement, Mr. Chairman, for foreign affairs is, of course, an intimate knowledge of your own backyard, your own homeland. Our nominee knows the Philippines and its economy, like whose fortune sprouted when there was blood in the streets. He knows its politics, like who bought enough votes to win and who may have overpaid for a landslide. And he knows its history, because he either wrote about it or witnessed it at first hand. In his public career, he has supported the words to the yearnings of a people to be free. The revolutions communicate to the outside world. The stirring prose of a new leader's inaugural speech. He has the gift to capture in language that moves our people in various times in our history, the ideas to be conveyed, whether defiance in the face of a coup, hope in times of disasters, faith in the country's future, and always, always belief in the Filipino people. But he speaks, and he will always speak, truth to power local or foreign. 
There's another thing we, we must all keep in mind. He has this soft spot for the ordinary and for the common. He can ignore the powerful, but he will never deadpan the poor. He treats the help at home the way he treats the high and the mighty. This is our nominee's second time to appear in so short a time before the commission. This time, I, however, I told him that we should arrange his confirmation immediately because work to our nation, work that is the most important and profound work beckons. Although, just to keep a private joke alive, although he comes from the law, from the wrong law school, <laughs> it is my honor and privilege, Mr. Chairman, and pleasure to endorse, to second, and to vote for the confirmation of a very good friend, Teodoro Teddy Boy Loxin, as our Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Majority Leader. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, Senator Grace Poe wishes to be recognized. Senator Grace Poe is recognized. <coughs> Teddy Luxine Jr. is not just a good choice, he's the right choice. His appointment gives us assurance that the country's top diplomat will now be held by one of the most brilliant legal and political minds of his generation. Full disclosure, normally I wouldn't admit to being a relative of someone, especially if the record is pretty lackluster, but in this particular case, I am supporting his nomination and voting for him, not just because we are decently related once removed through my mom, but because I know that he will not allow our country to be bullied. I think it, he has it in him, the spirit to fight for what is right, for what is just, just as I've been inculcated growing up. I am confident that he will ensure that our sovereignty is respected while still being open to collaboration with other nations, the same way he engages his thousands of followers on Twitter. So young and old alike are his fans, even at the moment. I congratulate him, and I wait to see more great things from this appointment. Humanda silang lahat. Maraming salamat po. Mr. Chairman, Senator Mid Subiri wishes to be recognized. Senator Nick Zubiri is recognized. Thank you, Honorable Chairman of the Senate Soto III, esteemed colleagues in both the House and the Senate. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I have the honor and privilege to stand before this Honorable Commission today to co-sponsor the confirmation and the interim appointment of Secretary Tedoro Lopez Loxin, Jr. of the Department of Foreign Affairs. Many of us may know the good Secretary as the highly intelligent and sometimes overly opinionated media personality that he is. Having remained a steady force in the tri-media throughout the years, serving as host to various TV shows like ABS-CBN's Territorial and The Assignment, co-anchor to radio programs like Carambola, and the publisher, editor, and writer to newspapers like the Philippine Free Press. He has also made a name for himself in social media with his fiery tweets that have garnered him almost 650,000 followers online. Aside from, aside from his impressive career in the media, I would also like to bring focus to his sterling track record in public service. Secretary Luxin first of all graduated as a Salutatorian from the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law and completed his Master's of Law degree from Harvard Law School. He was a representative of the first district of Makati for nine years. We were actually together, Mr. President, in the 12th and 13th Congress. He served from 2001 to 2010 and was a speechwriter to three former presidents, namely President Corazon Aquino from 1987 to 1992, President Joseph Ejercito Estrada from 1998, in 1998, and President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo from 2002 to 2006. 
I've always admired Secretary Teddy Boy for his brilliance, competence, and dedication. And I truly regard this as one of the best appointments granted by President, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte to date. Under his leadership, I'm confident that the department will be able to excellently fulfill its mandate of one, preserving and enhancing national security, two, promoting and attaining economic security, and three, protecting the rights and promoting the welfare and interests of our Filipinos overseas. With the above aforementioned points, it is with great honor that I second the motion for the confirmation of the Commission on Plenary, the ad interim appointment of Secretary Teodoro Lopez of Sin Jr. of the Department of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, Congressman Raul Delmar would like to add his co-sponsorship remarks. Representative Raul Delmar is recognized. Thank you, Senator Nassan, Senate President, Chairman, and distinguished colleagues. I uh, am delivering this sponsorship speech uh, because I just have been elected as Vice Chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee headed by Chairman uh, Senator Lacson. But not only as uh, an official colleague, but uh, as a personal friend uh, to uh, this Secretary Doxin. I have much to say, all good uh, for uh, Secretary Luxin, but uh, I picking up from the reminder of the Senate President earlier in the committee hearing that uh, tradition dictates that we confirm as fast as possible uh, a colleague uh, in Congress and we who are even the direct uh, uh, colleagues in the House where he served with us uh, for three terms uh, should uh, follow the lead of uh, the Senate President. So let me just uh, uh, abbreviate my uh, secondary speech by adopting the profile and investigation report uh, submitted by the Appointments Review and Investigation Service which on uh, Secretary Luxin, which says it all, uh, including his colorful character. And uh, so uh, this reinforces uh, uh, my long belief that uh, uh, Secretary Luxin will be one of the best uh, secretaries of uh, the uh, Foreign Affairs Department, but uh, I do share also uh, the, the endorsement of, uh, of uh, Chairperson Luxon that we look to him as one of the future presidents of the country. Thank you. One more. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Senator Sani Angara wishes to be recognized. Senator Sani Angara is recognized. Mr. President, I don't uh, wish to prolong the proceedings because the nominee has been standing for these uh, last few minutes, and I just want to keep this short. But I just want to state for the record that there is a tradition of uh, great men who have occupied the position of the DFA, starting from Apollinario Mabini, uh, Carlos P. Romano, Salvador P. Lopez, who was also UB president, Blas Ople, and I think. The nominee perfectly fits that mold of the brightest, the most articulate, the most eloquent of Filipinos, and I'm happy to second his nomination. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, the nominee has been standing for almost 30 minutes, <laughs> um, and uh, it's um, best that he he know that the uh, he should know that the members of the Commission on Appointments are co-authors of the book entitled Torture. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. The Senate President Pro Tempore, Senator Ralph Recto, has signified that he will submit his seconding speech for the confirmation of the ad interim appointment of Secretary Teodoro Luxin Jr. 
for incorporation into the records. As such, uh, I move for the previous motion. There is a motion, duly seconded, for the Commission to confirm the ad interim appointment of Teodoro Lopez Luxin Jr. as Secretary of the Department of Foreign Affairs. Is there any objection? The chair is none. The motion is approved. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, may we now proceed to consider the recommendation of the Committee on Foreign Affairs for the confirmation of the ad interim appointments of 47 officials in the Department of Foreign Affairs. Consideration of the Committee on Foreign, uh, Committee on Foreign Affairs is in order. Mr. Chairman, I move that the, the chairperson of the Committee on Foreign Affairs, Senator Panfilo M. Lapson, be recognized. Senator Panfilo Lapson is hereby recognized. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, it is likewise my honor and privilege to move for the confirmation of the, of the Commission the ad interim appointments of the following officials of the Department of Foreign Affairs to the ranks of Chief of Mission Class One, namely Ms. Celia Anna Magliari Feria. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, the motion is approved. And Ms. Maria Fe Panate Pangilinan. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Uh, hearing none, the motion is approved. I also recommend to this august body the confirmation of the ad interim appointments of the following officials of the department to the rank of Chief of Mission Class 2, Mr. Marshal Luis Macabale Alperez. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. Mr. Elmer Gozun Cato. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. Mr. Giovanni Endencia Palek. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. Mr. Ezedin Hamdi Pabo. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. Mr. Chairman, I also recommend to the Commission the confirmation of the ad interim appointments of the following career ministers. Mr. Christopher Patrick Topacio Aro. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Raul Ora Dato. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Maria or Miss Maria Ana Lilia Luaget de Vera. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Ines, Ines Jaime Ricardo da Canay Gallaga. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Jesus Enrique Guanzon Garcia II. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Melchor Perez Laluño Jr. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. And Mr. Voltaire de la Cruz Mauricio. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. I also recommend to the August body the confirmation of the ad interim appointments of the following Foreign Service Officers Class 1. Mr. Winston Dean Siscon Almeda. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Gabriel Romero Bautista. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Dennis John Cruz Briones, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Ms. Maria Carmela Teresa Abella Cabrera, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Alan Almirañez Caringal, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Jose Luzanta Garcia III, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Ryan Francis De Leon Hener, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Rosilito Chad Nalus Jacinto Jr., I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Lorenzo Riz Garucho Junco, the fourth, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Ms. Kerubin Diapera Lakai, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Ms. Rhea Galanao Oreta, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Ms. Maria Corina Apostol Reyes, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Ms. Judy Barbara Guillaume Robianes, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Jeffrey Peñamante Salik, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Mr. Paulo Velasco Saret, I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. 
and Ms. Cassandra Karangay Bajin Sawajan. As well, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Finally, Mr. Chairman, I also recommend to this August body the confirmation of the ad interim appointments of the following Foreign Service Officers Class 2. Ms. Sharon Jonet Makalalag Agduma. As well, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Ms. Christine Fronda Bautista. I saw move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Mr. John Kenneth Eduarte Bolante. I saw move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Ms. Joyce Marison Marasigan Camacho. I saw move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Ms. Luningning Golong Kamuying. I saw move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Mr. Andre Peter Kabuay Estanislao, I saw move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Ms. Cecil Joyce Yaplao, I saw move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Ms. Andrea Pungaling Lecano, I saw move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Ms. Monica Camille Bacani Limpo, I saw move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Mr. Francis Maynard Sarmiento <coughs> Maleon, I saw move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Mr. Glenn Joseph Kilantang Obak. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Mr. Ruena Rivera Pangilinan Dakipil. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Ms. Christina Corpus Popov. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Ms. Fatima Guzman Quintin. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Mr. Robert D. Class Quintin. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Ms. Ira Micheline Reyes Valdez. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Mr. Jeffrey Angelo <coughs> Valdez. I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. And finally, Mr. John Sherwin Perez Wenceslao. <coughs> I so move, Mr. Chairman. Any objection? Hearing none. Approved. Majority Leader. Mr. Chairman, there being no other matters to discuss, I move to adjourn. Any objection? Chair hears none. The session is hereby adjourned. The confirmed officials are requested to come over to the rostrum for the photo opportunity. Secretary Lapsin, please. Senator Lapsin. Senator Hanasan. Vice Chair Samora. All the members of the CA. Afterwards, the members.